It's been 70 years since the last streetcar stop of the old NS&T Railway has been in use. The Port Dalhousie Conservancy, along with the Willowbank School of Restoration Arts, are in the process of bringing it back to life. Well, it, it came about sort of by accident. I was on Facebook and I saw a, a, a picture of, of the trolley stop, which I recognized as the trolley stop. And so um, I started looking for it because I figured that it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be too far away from where it, it originally stood. And uh, one day I'm, I'm driving down Lakeshore Road in St. Catharines and I, I spotted it. And so um, I contacted our, our ward councillor and he said, he said uh, he'd go down there and talk to them. And uh, no, they were going to make a part of it part of their gardens or something like that. And uh, then a couple years later, out of the blue, we get a call from the, from the family and they said, hey, we really, it's really too, too far gone for us to deal with and, and uh, we want to donate it to you. Well, I bet you were excited. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's great to try to preserve heritage like this. It's the last remaining building, really, of the NS&T uh, street railway and uh, it's the only thing left so um, it, it, in that sense and it's, it's really unique in terms of its architecture you can tell by the roof and by the windows and things like that there were no other stops that were dressed up like that it was just a very unique uh, situation so we're hoping to, that we can preserve it the ns &T was one of the first electric street railways in North America people don't really realize that that, that St. Catharines was, was, was really the first Caitlin, for those who don't know, what is Willowbank? So Willowbank is uh, the School of Restoration Arts. Um, so we teach a three-year uh, program in heritage conservation, and it's a mix of hands-on and theory. So our students learn both sides of the coin, as it were. Um, they graduate with a diploma in heritage conservation, and they're uniquely qualified because they know both the hands-on side and the theory side of heritage conservation. The Port Dalhousie Conservancy actually got in touch with Willowbank. Um, this was quite a while ago, actually, it was last year. Um, and they had this sort of awesome piece of conservation candy that we've got now. Um, and so we've been using it as a living lab for the students. I mean, you can just tell it's like coming back to life. What have you done already to restore this old trolley stop? Uh, we've, we've done a, a number of uh, things to it. So we've we replaced the, uh, the footing there. Uh, that's uh, redone cypress uh, wood. Um, we replaced the shingles along the side of it. Uh, there's been numerous work done in the interior, replacing some of the boards and beams. Uh, the flooring has had some work done, and uh, the roof has obviously got a new, uh, well, it's in the process of getting uh, new shingles. So. so the roof is left to be done. What else is left to be done? Uh, the windows are another major step that need doing. So where is it going? What's the future for it? Well, we, ha we have a proposal into the city of St. Catharines, but because of COVID, of course, all the, a lot of the discussions have been put off. And uh, we're certainly hopeful that, that uh, it, it'll be somewhere in Port Dalhousie, hopefully very central, uh, where we can, we can uh, utilize it. Um, there's, a, there's an island right above Lock 1 where, where we hope to create a, a sort of a community square. And uh, we hope to put it in there and then be able to put up uh, some historical information about it. We have so little heritage left in our community that, uh, you know, it's important to, I think, s keep as much as we can. The last trolley stop building will be located in Port Dalhousie, hopefully by April 2021. If you wish to support this project, visit the website on your screen. I'm Brenda Schultz, reporting for The Source.